Welcome back to Solar Assist. Adam here, and got another quality scouting video for you today. So most leagues are coming to an end, but do not fear, the Nations League is here. And today I'm going to be highlighting some budget players for the upcoming Nations League that takes place in June. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. You can also become a member of this YouTube channel as well by clicking that join button below. And if you're not signed up to Sora yet, there is a link in the description if you did wish to do that. To get a free limited card and 13 common cards. So today I'm going to be highlighting some budget international players who are regulars for their country. Score well and have some tasty games coming up. I'll only be highlighting budget options as you don't want to be spending too much of your Sora funds on players with the sole purpose of international games. This is because internationals are few and far between, and the prize pools are usually fairly small. Some of these players may not be regulars for their club, but they should feature in the upcoming international games, so if you want some entertainment during the international break, then keep watching. Something to note as well, the Nations League is going to be taking place on Game Week 275 and Game Week 276. So that is something to bear in mind, because that is only a few game weeks away. This is part one and I'll be highlighting goalkeepers, defenders and in part two will follow shortly. As always do your own research and all the content is financial advice. Okay let's get stuck in then for the first selection which is of course a goalkeeper. And the first one I've gone for is Jan Sommer of Switzerland. Current place for Monster and Gladbach is currently going for 154 and is limited and 957 for his rare card. In terms of his scores for Switzerland, these were all his scores for Switzerland, as you can see, some absolutely fantastic scores. And these are the fixtures as well that they've got in the Nations League. As you can see, the easiest fixture is probably the first one against Czech, Czech Republic. Then it gets a little bit harder with some games against Spain and Portugal. But it's still capable of some good scores, even against harder opposition. And this game against Czech Republic looks especially appealing, especially if Switzerland can keep a clean sheet. The other goalkeeper I've gone for is Stoll Demitrevsky of Rea Valcano and North Macedonia. He's going for 153 at the moment for his limited and 918 for his rare card. Now as you can see these keepers are not going to be cheap because there's no such thing really as a cheap goalkeeper. Now if we look at the scores for North Macedonia, some fantastic scores here for a goalkeeper. Some 60s here, also a 90 here as well. And if we look at the fixtures that North Macedonia have got, they've got some really appealing fixtures. Away to Bulgaria, away to Gibraltar, and at home to Gibraltar. So Demitrevsky looks like a really good pick if you need a goalkeeper for the international break. Next up we've got Afia Marciano of Feyenoord and Israel. Now this guy is the cheapest goalkeeper I could find. He's 63 for his limited and 298 for his rare card. Now the fixtures for Israel are not shown on the Serbia Data website, but if we just quickly head over to Soviscore, as you can see in the Nations League, this is the Israel page, they're at home to Iceland on the 2nd of June, away to Albania on the 10th of June, and, at home to, and away to Iceland on the 13th of June. So as you can see, some really favourable fixtures there for the Israel goalkeeper. He's got some good scores as well for Israel, including a 62 here, 58 and a 52, which is good scores for goalkeepers as we know. So, moving on to defenders now, and the first one I've gone for is Alan Tosca of Gaziantep and Romania. Currently going for a very cheap £2.30 and £47 for his limited card. Fixtures in terms of what are showing on the Suradit's website, who are at home to Finland and at home to Montenegro. So, as you can see, two fairly decent fixtures there. In terms of his scores for Romania, he's got some decent scores, 54 here, and also a 99 here against Liechtenstein. So he could be a very viable option at this cheap price. Next up we've got Slavan Widmar of Mainz and Switzerland. £7.85 for his limited and £114 for his rare card at the moment. Fixture-wise for Switzerland, as we know, they've got a very good game against Czech Republic. Then it gets a little bit harder for them, but still probably a good option if you're after a defender. And he's got some decent scores as well for Switzerland, as you can see here, including a 65. Next defender I've gone for is Pantelis Chatsidiakos of AZ and Greece. Current limited is going, currently going for £17.81 and his rare is going for around 105. His scores are decent as well for Greece, as you can see here, a 77, an 88 and a 67. So it looks like a really good viable option. And in terms of fixtures for Greece, they're away to Northern Ireland on the 2nd of June, away to Kosovo on the 5th of June. Very Some very favourable fixtures there for the Greek defender, so he could be a definite one to maybe pick up for, this, for these Nation League games. 
Next up, we've got Merger Melling of Rens and Norway. His limited is going for £10 at the moment, and his rare is going for around 61 In terms of the fixtures, Norway are away to Serbia, away to Sweden, at home to Slovenia, and at home to Sweden. So these two Sweden games look particularly appealing. Also, the Serbia game could be a decent one as well. In terms of the scores for Norway as well, Merling has some really good scores. An 8-6 here, 6-7 and a 6-6. So it could be another viable option for your international squad. Another good option is Stefan Strandsberg, who plays for Salernitana in the Italian Serie A, who just recently escaped relegation. And Norway. His limited is going for £4.878 at the moment, and his rare is going for around 85 in terms of the fixtures, we've just seen those away to Serbia, away to Sweden, home to Slovenia and a home to Sweden. Some good scores as well internationally, 68 here, 100 here and 67 here. So some really good potential fixtures for Strandsberg for Norway. The final player today and this week is Michael Pinto of Sparta Rotterdam. And Luxembourg, who have some really decent fixtures coming up in the Nations League. They're away to Lithuania, away to the Faroe Islands. And also at home to Turkey, which obviously looks like the most difficult fixture. And then again at home to Faroe Islands. So the fixtures against Faroe Islands and Lithuania look especially appealing. So you could potentially get some good scores there for Pinto. His rare is going for around 24 at the moment and his limited is, limited is going for around £4.61. In terms of his scores for Luxembourg, he's got some good scores. 51, a 67 and a 70 here as well against Azerbaijan. So some really good scores there for this player. And that's some, and he's got a really good chance of getting some similar scores against some upcoming easy opposition. So that was all the selections for today. There will be another video dropping tomorrow on this channel, part two, which I'll be highlighting some midfielders and also some forwards for the upcoming international games. If you like this video, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Is there any of these players that you're thinking of buying? Do let me know in the comment section below. Or is there any other budget players that are going to be appearing in the upcoming international games? Do let me know as well in the comment section. You can also become a member of this YouTube channel now by clicking that join button below. Or become a member of the Patreon for bonus videos. And also you'll get early access to all the scouting videos on the Soros' YouTube channel. You'll also get that on the membership with the YouTube as well. And if you're not signed up to Surrey yet, then sign up, use the link below to get a free limited card and 13 cards. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.